Wagwan everyone, my name is Kunji and this is Cooking with Kunji. Last video, you noticed that I did some ribs in the pressure cooker. Today, ribs again. Today is gonna be in the smoker. Two racks of barbecue spare ribs. Been um, thawing since yesterday. No need to do anything special. We're just gonna clean these ribs up, get the extra meat, and flap that you know not really gonna cook evenly with the cook cook a three two one method i'm gonna use some reggae spice for one spicy reggae spice set of ribs and then i'm also just gonna be do a regular barbecue with salt pepper garlic and some killer hogs barbecue rub we'll look at those and see how those turn out i'm gonna do a butter bath when i wrap them stay tuned see how i make this Macarena boy. seasoning I'm gonna do one with salt pepper garlic as a base after the salt pepper garlic base I'm just gonna add some killer hogs barbecue rub that's just gonna be basic commercial style you know barbecue rub after that I'm gonna do reggae spice hot and spicy uh, jerk marinade some booyah seasoning and then I'm gonna use my personal island grill uh, barbecue rub to put on top of that to create that bark and that texture that you want to see on your meat. So right now guys, I'm gonna show you how I put together my barbecue sauce that I'm gonna be using on these ribs today. My base is tomato puree and not ketchup or tomato sauce because of that sugar content and you know all that other stuff that's in there. Whenever you're cooking it, it makes such a mess, hard to work with. The puree is more natural. I'm already adding sugar. So that will take care of that. I have some bourbon, Worcestershire sauce, some honey, and some apple cider vinegar. Watch this. I'm using a deep Dutch oven, because of course, this tends to splatter. If you have a deeper pan, keep all your ingredients in. So right now guys, it's been three hours since my ribs have been going. And right now what I'm gonna do is wrap with some sauce, some butter, some sugar, and we're gonna let that cook for another two hours. Just wrapped and sweating. We don't have to worry about the bark on it because after three hours that should be pretty in place. And now we're just making those ribs nice and tender and juicy and ready to fall off the bone. Some sugar. And for each rib I'm using a half a cup of sugar. I'm gonna do it on the back and on the front. Yeah. Let's see? Beautiful color. The 
same process, nothing different about what I'm wrapping the ribs with. Because whatever flavor is on there, the butter and the sugar is not going to change that. You're just giving the ribs a little bit of juice to help lock in a lot of moisture and keep that flavor right where you want. So right now at this juncture, what I'm gonna do in the next two hours, I'm gonna go ahead, unwrap these, give it just a little bit more sauce just on the top. And what we're gonna do is leave it on the grill for one more hour after that, let that salt, uh, sauce caramelize and create that beautiful barbecue ribs that we're talking about. Soon done. Right now what I'm gonna be doing is unwrapping the ribs. I'm gonna be using that juice, that little mixture that came off, the sugar and the butter, you know, and whatever juice that it's sweated in the foil, along with my barbecue sauce to glaze the ribs. And then we'll put them back on the grill for one hour and that will give us a beautiful color beautiful texture on the ribs for the final product. These are looking phenomenal right now. So the sugar and the butter, everything is all melted. Get that barbecue sauce. Sticky beautiful now this is what's going to give the ribs that sticky gorgeous beautiful color and I can see that salt pepper garlic shining right here on these ribs so I know that this is the salt, pepper, garlic with the Killer Hogs barbecue rub. This one is gonna be the one hot and spicy reggae spice. Here we go. Man, that reggae spice ribs looks really really good I can smell the garlic from that island grill barbecue rub that I put on top just to give it a little texture so don't need to add anything or do anything else and I'm just gonna keep that temp in the smoker at 225 250 for another hour and then we'll cut into these ribs. Right now this is all about the bark, the texture, the color that we're going to finish working on. We're not cooking anymore. Um, this is just about the finishing touches. So right now guys we've come to the end of this cook. We're going to take these ribs off the smoker. This has been a six hour cook three hours unwrapped, two hours wrapped, and now one hours with a glaze unwrapped, just getting some color. Just absolutely beautiful. Lost the bone. So right now guys, you can see colors are looking really beautiful. This one is the one with <clears throat> the reggae spice. It's got um, a base of the hot and spicy jerk marinade. That's the wet marinade with some booyah. And then on top of that, I added my personal Island Grill barbecue rub on top for all this beautiful texture and colors that you see here. This rib, on the other hand, is a base of salt, pepper, garlic, and then top with 
the Killer Hogs barbecue rub. Let's cut into it and we want to taste these ribs. First, I'm going to go ahead and give the reggae spice one a try. And you can look at this right here. It's got good juice inside there. So, really delicious. And this is the outside rib. So, just imagine what the inside ribs look like. Oh man, this is so good. Reggae spice, definitely, definitely the bomb. Mm. Mm. That's meat. You know, it's fall off the bone, but it's not falling apart in your hand. Really tender but the ribs are still holding their integrity. Today's video, three to one barbecue ribs. We did some reggae spice, and then just a base of salt, pepper, garlic on the other one. Six hours on ribs perfect every single time you don't need to do any longer than that and these spare ribs are falling off the bone i'm about to go feed my family thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one